discuss this wagon, all right? somebody would that's funny i wish it would okay this is october 2023 members only self-care club i don't smell anything i literally don't smell anything now i know that my house is very fragrant i have candles and plugins everywhere but nah this is unusual i don't smell anything do i need to rub it to unearth the fragrance, you know, maybe it needs to be rubbed. What's going on here? I don't smell anything. I mean, I just smell what's already in my house. When you open up a candle. I mean, it is like whatever this is, is very faint. I don't smell anything. Nah, what's going on here? I know they did some change. They made some changes to make sure that the candles smell good, which I think is fantastic as a new brand. There are things you gotta redo after a while. We get that. I think that that's noble. However, what happened to this one? Why don't I smell anything? Wish somebody would. I mean, I mean, there's nothing coming out of this. Let me burn it a little bit because I'm concerned. This candle club is not free. Hold on. Maybe I got a bad iteration of it. I don't know. Let's burn it a little bit and see what happens. I need to do my hair. I just took out my bun to go to bed so that it's not bothering me. And then I just clipped it. So my hair got squished. That's why it looks like this. Okay. I mean, it smells pleasant but it's not it's not the it's not the forever mood brand in the sense that usually the box smells strong 
usually the box is just oozing with fragrance and the box doesn't smell like anything. It smells like a box. I mean, it's very light and it smells like something I've smelled in the past. This is unusual. Does this need to be burning for a while in order for it to smell good? What's going on here? I mean, not, not, not be about to burn my lip off. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to smell something that I done burn some of my peach fuzz underneath my lip. What? Hold on. Let's be more careful here. No, nah, I mean, there's just a light scent. It's nothing to write home about. I'm very shocked by this. I am because normally these scents are very strong. I'm going to go smell the other one because now I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm going to keep this on in the bathroom, small area, and see how it engulfs this area. Let's see what I want with this. Yo, I literally burned some of my chin hair. <laughs> oh, the peach fuzz. What? I can smell it. When I go get my wax, no, when I go get my laser and they're zapping me, I can smell the hair. And I literally smelled some of the hair when I had gone too close. I'm annoyed. For instance, this is not burned. It was burning earlier and I cleaned the inside and I, I trimmed the wick. Just when I go like this, oozing with scent, oozing with the fragrance. That's what I mean by the Forever Mood brand. It just oozes. I mean, the, the box itself oozes. The candle cover oozes. You feel me? And that one, I don't smell anything. That's very unusual. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I have so many trays in this house. I don't even know what to do with all these extras. I want to use it for something cute, but I don't really have a place to put it. You feel me? Oh, I put some fragrance right here. From after I wash my hands, then I can spray. I like to spray my hands because when I keep moving my hands, I smell myself. Hello. And obviously the body too. So I put bubble bath. Oh, so great for the bathroom. And then this is matcha meditation. I was spraying that on my bedding. But I can see myself doing a little light mist on the skin, you feel me? Not the whole body, not to go out, but just something light, you know? You ought to know. You ought to know? You ought to know. Hey, <laughs> what you trying to say? It's called you ought to know? <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> I'm annoyed. You ought to know, okay? That's the second one that came in the pair. So let's try this out. This one smells great. This one smells like dessert, not overly done. It smells like I don't eat I don't eat I don't eat desserts. So let me see, cookies, cake, sweet, creamy, milky. This one's delightful. This one's delightful. I cannot wait to burn this one. I already have candles burning, so this one I'll wait on. The cap smells nutty, very nutty. Yeah, you see what I mean? It just automatically smells mad good. That other one. I don't know what that is. I, we're gonna see. Okay, we're gonna see. Oh, and by the way, the Korean barbecue that I had was good. It gives very light, airy, healthy in the sense that you cook the food right in front of you. It's my first time ever. I enjoyed that. I didn't eat the rice because I don't eat that white rice. I use at home. At home, I'll eat low carb, right, low carb white rice, and I'll link the one that I use. It's delicious and it doesn't feel so heavy on the body. And let's see. I, I, I ventured out and I tried some of their stuff. I get it when you are eating a different cuisine. You're looking at it like, what? Why is this purple? You feel, why is this bright purple? Or what is this stuff? But it was enjoyable. It felt fresh and light. Let me just say that. Because I didn't have the rice. I didn't have the potato salad. I had the salad and the meat. And, and the salt had a tang to it. Almost like it had vinegar in the salt and pepper. It was really good. I can see myself getting it again. I just wasn't full when I left. I was not full. I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe we didn't get enough food because I wasn't full. I was very like, okay, <laughs> I'm <eat> again. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this. This was, this is old. This used to be on that wall. It's giving very empty in here now. I do recognize that. We'll see. I do want one of those huge mirrors to put right here. I think that'd be cute, but I'm not yet ready to grab it. I don't know. Do I want that there though? I don't know. But that's gotta go and these are giveaway boxes. Oh my goodness, my Zara jeans, yo. These Zara jeans are so cute. If you don't have, look at me, this is gonna sound crazy, but if you ain't got what I got, go ahead and grab these jeans. But if you got what I got and if you got the wagon, don't get these jeans. It's just not gonna work for you, let me explain. 
in the store, you saw in my last vlog that I grabbed size 44, which is a 12. Now go up past my thighs, okay? So stinking cute cargo jeans, right? Baggy, slouchy look is given. Ooh, 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 ooh. You feel what I'm saying? So I ordered online the 40, what is it 46? I don't know, it's over there. And that's a size US 14. So I put that on. <laughs> and although it buttoned, the thing would not cover the wagon. Okay, so it was given, even with a belt, you could still see the top of the wagon. Okay, so let's discuss this wagon, all right? And I did not coin the term wagon, Infinity did, okay? Praise the Lord. Even if I wore a belt, the wagon is giving shelf, okay? And it's giving shelf more so because of the contouring procedure that I had done last year. I had Lipo 360, praise be Jehovah. So what that did was to the waist, which accents, accentuates the in the hips, you dig? So a lot of things fit a lot differently these days. These jeans, although they got on me and they, they they buttoned in the, in the top, I can't wear them. And I'm so turned off because they're so stinking cute. So I gotta return both of them. And I, I don't shop in the mall often, you know that. I'm gonna take both of them to the store and return them. So cute. Wait, why is there no, what the hell? Why is there no tag on? Oh, okay. I was gonna say I did not wear these. Okay, it's tag, yeah. It's $60. These are so cute. Now, I do have two Amazon cargoes that I, one of them I got in XL is Black Cargo. You've seen that already. I like them a lot. It needs a belt. In the front, it's fine, but the back would need a belt. Like it needs a belt in general. And then I got a blue pair of cargo jeans from Amazon, and they don't fit me. They're also XL. Like, every XL is not the same. So I'm going to get a 1XL in that blue one, and then I'm a widow's soon. I got to return these two Zara jeans. I'm undone about it. I really am. But you know what, though? I mean, I do have one and a half successful cargo jeans, the half being the Amazon one that I'm going to exchange. And I, that, that'll suffice for now. I'm into cargo jeans. I love it. They're comfortable. You feel me? I ain't trying to have my ankles all sucked in. I'm decluttering. I'm just over all of the, I'm over all of the clutter. And I got giveaway boxes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 12, 13, 14. I've got 14 giveaway boxes that I want to get rid of. I, I want more of an airy space. I'm tired of the clutter. It doesn't make me happy any longer. It actually never did, but I just left it. You know, when you just end up having a lot of clutter, you just leave it because you're used to it. I'm not used to it anymore. It's not my lifestyle. I'm tired of it. So stuff just has to go, you know? Stuff's gotta go. I'm looking around because some more stuff has to go. And Yo, so I'm finally about to shower. I, I'm gonna braid my hair soon. I be getting so, let me tell you, I enjoy being able to wash my hair every day if I wanted to and then change my hairstyle. I, I cannot wait to take this off. I know this must be disturbing. My chest breaks out in the winter time because of eczema, it's drier. So I have these patches of rashes. My neck is even dry. If you are experiencing dry skin right now, it's totally normal because the weather has changed. And then you see my face has broken out. I have a breakout happening, an active breakout. It's a little itchy. This is actually resolving. I dip my prescription on. I've been using it to help it go away. It's the worst when it gets in between my brows and then onto my eyelids because imagine itchy, bumpy eyelids. It's insane. And then it's a little bit on my lips. This is just obscene. I enjoy being able to wash my hair, keeping my scalp clean. It feels so freaking good. But then I'd be like, I don't feel like doing this every day. And then if I go ahead and do the silk press, it literally frizzed on me so randomly one day. Where was I? I must have been at practice. I can't remember. And then I washed my short wig, the one that I cut with y'all a while ago. It needs to be styled. And I don't always feel like styling a wig, so I've just never styled it. I washed it and I've yet to style it. So that's why I haven't worn that one. I do like it, it's just in my closet. It's dried, it just needs to be blown out, curled, or I'm not gonna keep it straight. 
just waved. It just, it just needs to be styled and I don't feel like it. I, I find that washing my hair and slicking it back is just so easy, but then I'm sick of doing that every day. <laughs> annoyed okay i'm saying all this because i'm about to shower and i'm like i need to go run some errands do i want to get dressed we talked about this in a different video right where i like to get dressed i'm like do i want to do that today or do i want to put my hair into a bun because now it's all poofy it's not laid down because i took out the ponytail do i want to put my hair in a bun do my skincare and stuff because clearly i need it and then Put a hat on, go athleisure, go the athleisure route, and just find somewhere to sit down. <laughs> Look at me. As I'm putting it in the bun, I believe I've already made my decision. Yeah, I haven't made my decision. Yo, this daylight savings thing is sick because it's 3 o'clock and it feels like it's 7 o'clock. It's so dark outside. I'm going to just do that, dress casually, and then I'll do makeup and things tomorrow. I don't feel like that. Yo, I'd be so rough with these nails. It's obscene. I literally grab things with my nails and they be holding on tight. It's just that they be looking beat up real fast. I'm sure my nails get beat up looking way faster than yours do. I am rough with my fingers, okay? I don't be doing stuff in a dainty manner. You know, you have them catch all drawers that have everything inside of it. I just, got, just grabbed a nail clipper. And I be needing to file my nails through the weeks because of grabbing things all the time they're not as lined up <laughs> you know they're not as flat as they should be you get what i'm talking about okay so i showered and i lotioned up i'm so itchy i get hives it's not every day but sometimes it happens consecutively and it's so irritating i just want to rip my skin off so i'm scratching because i it's just the histamine in my skin I'm gonna go take my allergy pill once I leave this bathroom, but God, and it bothers me in my thighs, yo. Oh, anyway, I have on these tops. These are workout tops, but I sometimes will put it on just underneath a sweatshirt and it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see and I'm enjoying not wearing a brassiere so I don't have to. Like how I call it a brassiere. I'm so annoyed. Oh, God, yo. It literally feels like there are pins and needles pinching me. Ugh. Do my skincare. Of course, I have on my SPF, even though it's a cloudy day. Oh my gosh. And then my skin's gonna peel. I can see some skin right here about to flake off. By tomorrow, I'll have some. Wow. I even have some of the breakout under my eyes. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I use my prescription, which is Tretinoin. It has clindamycin, which is an, a topical antibacterial cream or ingredient. Ooh, itchy. And then. Tretinoin, and niacinamide, which helps oil production and dark, it, it fights dark spots, right? I'm getting confused sometimes. Anywho, this is actually a long john pair. I call this long johns. What do you call it? The pants that, have, that, that are thermal? Whatever. It has a top, but I'm not wearing the top with this. I think I should have. I wanted to do gray. Whatever. And then this is from Amazon. I like this hoodie. You know? Ew. And this is old. I bought this in Dubai. Where is this from? It's not very, this is not, first of all, this is humongous on me. When I bought it, I was a lot bigger. This is huge on me, okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm into the oversized look right now. What is inside of this? Oh, gloves. These gloves have been here since. <laughs> These gloves have been here for ages. What in the world? We're all some random gloves, honey. And then I'll wear my sneakers, my Adidas, and throw in my bag. Throw my bag across my body. Dang, I got masks up in these pockets. <laughs> Tissue and gloves, I'm annoyed. So yeah, this is my casual look right here. Oh, I got stuff from Target yesterday. Just a few decorations. I've been wanting to take everything out, but the whole idea of my house looking like, like Christmas has thrown up on it just bothers me. I don't like the idea of so much stuff. And then the fact that I'd have to then find somewhere to put all these things at the end of the season, just, it upsets me. I can't do it. I, I admire people's homes when they deck it out for Christmas, but I just cannot bring myself to do it. I say all this because I went to Target and got a few things, a few things, and I'm going to put them up somewhere. I'll figure out where, and that's my plan, but I can't do too much. I like looking at it, but I can't, I can't be around it. I just... 
Ooh, fragrance. Benedict was dogging out my Montal Velvet Fantasy and she made me fall in love with my fragrance that I don't even wear. And I wore this yesterday and I got stopped. I literally looked it up for the lady, showed her a picture, everything. Cause this stuff is strong and it smells amazing. Oh, it smells like Arabian money. Okay, money. This is so good. Oh, this is about to be a fave. You know, I have so many that I don't be recognizing the bombshells out of all of them because I mainly use the fragrances that are right here in my closet. That when she, people, when people spray my stuff, that's when I'm like, wait, 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 I need to stop wearing that. You feel me? This is good. I do spray my hands because when you're moving around, it's going, it's going to bless the people. Praise ye. And, you know, do the body. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's bring my bun too. <laughs> make this what is the name of it God, what's the name of this i forgot that name already anyway i don't normally fill it up this much i don't even normally put this in this thing let's talk about it i am sleepy okay i didn't get up as early today as i would have liked but i got up early as you saw i worked out i did 35 minutes my goal was an hour i did 30 minutes that's fine and i really could stop there but i really want to push myself more push my body more because i want more from my body so i have to work out more with that said I want to go do the Sydney Cummings workout. It is raining outside. I feel like going to sleep. I'm so conflicted right now. I'm so conflicted right now because I just want to go to sleep, but I know I'm not going to feel accomplished just going to sleep. I have so much that I could be doing, you feel me? But I know that I'm sleepy. And part of my daily routine is drinking coffee because it suppresses my appetite. So I'm so torn because I pour too much water in here. Normally I just chug this to give me the energy for the workout. I'm, I'm mixed right now. This works. It tastes delicious. It's great. But I'm like, how am I going to fit all of this in a coffee in my stomach? With this surgery, I, I can't shove. When I shove a lot of food, a lot of beverage into my stomach, it is so uncomfortable. I can't even explain it. If I drink too much fluid, I'm uncomfortable. My stomach can't expand like it would have before when my muscles were not tight. So it's just, it's such a thing. I'm glad that I worked out though. That stepper is really good. If you don't have it, you really should think about it. It's affordable and you can put it anywhere in your house and be stepping while you're watching a TV show, stepping while you're folding laundry, whatever you, whatever you're doing. It's just, it's a no brainer. Yesterday I'm so sick because I watched, I watched Married to Medicine and what was it? Potomac. And I really should have been on that stepper for those two hours. I mean, come on. You see, it's those, it's those things that I have to, get myself into I could have been on that stepper for two hours of my life yesterday but I was laying in the bed watching it granted I was comfortable watching it which is great but I could have been on the stepper for God's sake anywho my skin is healing slowly <laughs> very slowly but it is healing nonetheless and that's even another reason for me to be like I don't even need to film today and, and thankfully I don't have to I don't have any deadlines where I have to film today so in my mind, I'm thinking, why don't I just take it easy today with everything, meaning an admin day. That's normally what I like to do on my Mondays is as admin, so all of the desk work type stuff. And then I let my face relax and heal. And then I can really just be in the bed working. 
I'm convincing myself of this. I'm convincing myself of this because I need it. <laughs> and not this sweater looking all frumpy. I smell good. I think I have on rose oud. Is it rose oud from Kali? It smells so good. It's so soft and sexy. It's so good. All right. I don't know what to do now. I literally can't put too much in my stomach. I'm going to save this drink since I'm not going to the gym. <laughs> I'm going to save that drink because I really want something warm. It's also cold. I need to go get gas. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. It's also cold, so I don't want to drink a cold beverage. I want something warm. So, I'm going to save my stomach. That's literally how I have to think, is what am I going to put in my stomach and how much because I have to save the space. It's actually a good issue to have. There's no reason why I should be shoving and stuffing my stomach down to the point where I can't breathe. It's it's a, actually a very terrible thing, so it's actually good that I, I can't. Because when I do, I feel... Okay, I came back home, but I realized I haven't ever showed you this. I picked up the Baccarat Rouge 540 body gel, right? It's a cleansing gel, hand and body cleansing gel, and the scented lotion. I'm using it as hand cream, although it can be used for the body in the shower. This stuff smells so stinking good. This, I realize, gets, what? It collects dust? Why is it gray like that? Or did it come like that? Wait a second. You see that gray? Oh, God. This is brand new. It must have come that way. What is annoying is the caps are not aligned. If you put it forward, it's closed. So to use it, it has to go, the pumps, I mean, it has to go to the left. That's annoying, but. It smells so good. Imagine washing your hands and then you put on, you wash your hands with 540 and then lotion with 540. Yo, you walk around, the sillage is just fantastic. And then in here, I have this nest fragrance situation. Remember this marble tray? I want to use it. I don't know where to put No, it can't be right here. I feel like it needs to go right here. But my issue is it's 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 uneven. Like it's uneven. Okay. Because I want to put these three here because I want to use them and they match the aesthetic of the bedroom so easily. We have Jazz Club by the fireplace and whispers in the library but my issue is i want them to be facing me so for instance they would be like this hello but and look at this part is bottom part's going off but it's not gonna it it's not gonna fit this needs to be in the center of this therefore this has to be like this stuff just has to line up correctly but then how do i see everything i can't even see all of this i can put them like that <laughs> or take this away from here i don't i don't know i'm trying to find a use for this marble tray and it's not working <laughs> let's figure out a new plan dark day it's so dark in my house i like how that tv console looks it's very minimal but i'm not lying i'm looking at it and i feel like it's cluttered i just cannot do clutter i want to put more decorations but i just can't that will just have to suffice that's it remember when finery fragrances were real popular at target i never got one i smelled a few a while ago then when i was there yesterday i smelled some more and I'm like, I want to get this one. There was another one that I liked. There were two others that I liked, that, but they smell like things that I already have. And then I was like, but this one, was, this one smells like something I already have as well. What's it called? What's it called? It's a burning, burnt cherry. Oh, Kayali. Kayali something, burning something. And I'm like, this smells just like it, but I got it anyway. <laughs> I got it anyway. If you have tried finery fragrances, girl, let me know. I'm sure that I'm late. I'm sure that I'm late. Yeah, this smells so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It smells like the, like the, it smells like the Kayali one. I already have fragrance on my hand, so now this is going to mix into it. I'm going to just wear this out. I feel better about 
I'm gonna use all my stuff regardless. But I feel better about using my stuff when I know that it was really affordable. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, it makes sense. Yeah, this is so good. Okay, good. Good, I'm excited. Finery, not another cherry. Eau de parfum. Love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Link below if you want to grab it. It's a Target. It's affordable. And it's cherry. Cherry is such a great fragrance for the winter time. Okay. Oh, good. It's giving Kaoli vibes where it tells you the scents. The scent, the notes. I love that. Okay. The scent experience is the last decadent bite of an amaretto soaked cherry. I love amaretto. Do you hear me? Amaretto sour was one of my favorite cocktails. Of course, now I don't drink it because the amaretto is sugary, but oh, I love amaretto sour. It's such an introductory beverage. It's sour though, so it gives you that, that tang back here. I like it. This smells like wild cherry, Turkish rose, and almond amaretto. I love all of these. I love all of these. It's creamy, milky cherry. Mmm, this is so good. I want another one. This is so good. Oh, it's so worth it. Oh. 